Hey y'all, this is DeMarlo King again, back at you with another cool move for Grand Theft Auto 3. And this cool move I'm about to show you this time is how to use any vehicle as a taxi. Check this out. Alright, we're starting out here at the home base front, and you're here in the second island. You can do it on any island, it doesn't matter. So you're going to run up here, first job here is to find a taxi. Oh, there's one right there. Let's get him. All right, let me borrow this, sir. I'm trying to do a cool move here. All right, so now once you're in the taxi, press the R3 button and hold it. Exit the taxi while still holding the R3 button, but beware, your controls will be reversed, and so you'll have to try to figure out which way they go to get another vehicle. Hit the triangle button to get another vehicle. Once you're inside the new vehicle, release the R3 button and boom. Taxi driver in a minivan. Okay. Man, did y'all just see that? I used another vehicle as a taxi. I don't believe it, but you saw it here first. I showed you. Now, it's on you. Hi, my name is Saul Wolf. Today I'm going to show you a cool move for the game Treasure Planet. In this cool move, I'm going to show you a quick way to complete the Earn 20,000 Trick Points objective. Let me show you how it's done. From the beginning of the level, go through the first race gate and locate the trick icon. Grab that to start the objective, and instead of going along the rest of the track doing tricks, you can do all your tricks right here. All you gotta do is go off these canyon walls. And press the L1 and R1 button to do a quick 2,000 point trick. As you can see, I'm just racking up the points here. And as you can see, I just completed this objective, got 20,000 points here, just doing that simple trick off the canyon walls. As you can see, it's not necessary to race along the entire track to get the 20,000 points. You can get the 20,000 points right by the trick icon. All you gotta do is jump off the canyon walls and keep pressing the L1 and R1 button simultaneously. Give it a shot. Hi, my name is Saul Wu, and today I'm gonna show you a cool move for the game Treasure Planet. In this cool move, I'm gonna show you how to complete the objective Explore the Engines in the Arcturian Trader level. Let me show you how it's done. From the Face Mr. Hands Beacon, go down this corridor right here and go past Silver. Step on the pink item pad, press the X button, and equip the glider. Glide all the way down to the hallway. And you want to take this path outside right here. Wait for the thrust to die down, and continue forward along the path. All right, here's the trick. Right when you get past that engine right here, there's a hidden platform right here. You wanna to jump to that, and you'll start the Explore the Engines objective. Wait for this platform to lower, and then jump to it. Now from here, what you wanna do is wait and jump to the rudder when it's close enough. And you're gonna ride this to the next rudder. And wait for the last platform right here. What you wanna do is climb up and enter the Arcturian Trader again. Avoid the laser beams jumping over them and press the R1 button to duck under this laser right here ok 
continue down to the end of the hallway, and at the end here will be the beacon. The key to starting and completing this objective is to locate that small floating platform outside the Arcturian Trader. Just do exactly what I did, and that'll take you all the way to the beacon. Good luck and have fun. Hi, my name is Sandra Mitchell, and I'm here to show you a cool move for Dr. Muto. On Planet Flotos, I'm going to show you how to get credit for completing objective Cut the Chains without actually completing it. Okay, when you're in the master plan, it shows the objective Cut the Chains isn't completed. You're standing on the edge of the lava pit, you want to jump down, go to the furthest rock out in the middle of the lava pit. You want to stand on the very edge of the rock, turn around and face the ledge you want to jump up to. Morph into the spider. Then you want to aim here, your reticule at the biker guy, and as soon as it turns red, you want to let go of the X button. Once you grab the piece of Terra, go back into your master plan. And it'll show that you've completed the objective, cut the chains, even though you haven't done it. Now when you do this move, there's three things that you have to remember. When you jump into the lava, it's going to take life away, but it's not going to be enough to make you die. Once you get to the rock, you want to look to your left, there's going to be some enemies coming. You have to kill them off first, otherwise they'll kill you when you're trying to do this move. Then when you face the ledge, the targeting red kill is only going to turn red for a couple of seconds, so you have to make sure you time it well and do it fast. Good luck and have fun. Hi, my name is Saul Villegas, and today I'm going to show you a cool move for the game, The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. In this cool move, I'm going to show you how to defeat Lurtz, who is the boss at the end of the level, Amin Hen. Let me show you how it's done. For the first part of this battle, what you want to do is, you want to avoid the arrows that Lurtz is shooting at you. You won't be able to attack him with your sword yet. Take out any other enemy that might be in the area, too. Wait for him to pause after shooting an arrow and shoot arrows back at him. Eventually, it'll move on to phase two, where he takes out his sword. At this point, you will now be able to hit him with your sword. The trick here is to hide behind these statues. Try to keep the statue between you and him. Now that he's stuck, you'll be able to hit him. Once again, find another statue and try to keep it between you and him. And when it's stuck, do a combo on him. And run to another statue. Once again, hit him and run to another statue. Now I'm going to run over this statue over here. Try to keep that between us. And once again, he's got the sword stuck in there. And as you can see, just keep doing that and you'll be able to defeat Lurtz. Follow the strategies and tips that I just showed you right here in this cool move, and you'll find that Lurtz is a cinch to defeat. Good luck and have fun. Hi, I'm Jesse, and I've got a great way for you to pick up some quick and easy cash on Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Anytime you're low on cash, head to the college level and find the garbage truck over here on the right. Spine transfer in and out of it, and you'll see a timer start in the top of the screen. You get 40 seconds for the garbage day mode, and by spine transferring in and out of the trucks, you can collect lots of money, which in turn will help you buy lots of cheats and uh, new clothing options. The money is limited, so make sure you use it only when you need it. 
So there you go. Quick and easy way to pick up some cash in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Now you try. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alexis Gutierrez. I work for Format QA, which is game testing to you common people. And I am here to single-handedly save this demo disc with my cool move for WWE Smackdown. Shut your mouth. Now listen up. First thing you want to do is go into rules and make sure that you leave ring out count off and DQs off because you want as much time as you can get to lay the smack down your opponent to pull off this cool move and trust me, this move is cool. Then go into venue and for your arena, choose a smackdown arena, start your match and then get it on. Now at any point during the match, all you do is you press R1 to climb out of the ring, work your way up the ramp. punch your opponent to come up and follow you. And you lay a beat down on him right here by the ramp. Now as soon as he's out, there's a spot to the left of the ramp, far left of the ramp, and you push up towards the crack in the wall and triangle, and if you do it just right, you work your way up the crack to the fist. And from up here, you can do all kinds of things. Lay the smack down on your opponent, drop an elbow, drop a fist, and if you're using a high flyer with a special move, special aerial like RVD or Val Venus, and you time it just right, you can even pull off your smackdown from the top of the fist. So, if you think you've got the brass to hang with me, Jackie B, then you better break some off up in this piece. But remember, when you step into that squared circle and the mightiest arms in the world snap that showstopper around your neck, you're going down like a sad-faced clown. <laughs>